Welcome back, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Pre Market Prep. Uh, welcome to Doge Day. By the way, um, it's officially 420, aka Doge Day. Always, always. I, I, I can't believe I haven't bought a Doge shirt yet. But anyway, um, welcome back. Um, couple things. Market 411. Remember, that's the afternoon commentary over on my personal Instagram. I try and do that every day, okay? I try, but, you know, I do a lot. I got a lot going on. So so I'm always here for pre-market prep. I try and do Market 411 every day. Um, send me some Doge. There, there we go. There's my motivation. I promise to do Market 411 every day if you send me all of your Doge. But anyway, um... The reason I bring that up a lot, I posted my Instagram this morning about the stuff I'm doing for my sleep. It works. It works, man. Um, I know I'm, I'm always high energy, but man, this, I, and maybe it's placebo. I don't know. But one week in, um, it, man, I'm just, I'm feeling awesome. I mean, seriously. So no bullshit. So anyway, let me ask what I'm doing, et cetera. I'll talk about that on Market 411. Um, let's get to work. Why don't I see? What am I doing wrong? Whoops, I don't see. Nicole on here, I gotta search for my questions. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there we go. Go. Uh, what is up? There, alright. So, something's up with my slack. So... YVR. Oh, oh, so right off the bat, I like to start with the stuff that I'm most in interested in. YVR is definitely up there. Um, why don't I see something is up with my Slack? I don't know what's going on with my Slack. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to move on. So I'm going to take questions from Instagram on my iPad. Greatest pre-market prep ever. There, there, there. Never mind. Back up, back up. I got you, Nicole. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, guys. Live. Welcome to live streaming. Okay. Penny Stock Chris asked about YVR. All right. I got you to cut now, Nicole. Nicole, cool. Uh, NFT PR, low float. Definitely one of my number one watches. YVR. NFT PR in the AM, low float, uh, former runner, what does this PR say, blah, 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 oh, NFT platform, I like the sounds of that, remember YVR is in Vancouver, never, ever, 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 one of the golden rules of penny stock trading is never, ever, ever, ever believe in any penny stock in Vancouver, especially if it's in a duplex, okay? So, listen, nothing against that looks like a really nice neighborhood. Looks like a beautiful neighborhood. But at the end of the day, YVR is in Vancouver and in a duplex. Don't believe in this stock, but it's 100% a dip and rip at the high of day. So, 100% dip and rip. Never believe a Vancouver penny stock and if you're wondering why I say that that is one of the oldest rules in penny stocks but then also check out the steady trade web the steady trade podcast with VWAP trader and he tells some amazing stories about um about the the significance of Vancouver etc I think still maybe my favorite podcast of all time. Check it out and understand the horrors of Vancouver-based penny stocks. So that being said, top dip and rip. Um, SNDL, it's 420. We got a weed stock. This is uh, 945 or later break as well. Um, SNDL weed stock on 420. Hopefully doesn't break. Pod 
till 9.45 or later. Um, OBLN, Leonardo Alvarez asks about OBLN. Who knows? Who knows? One of the golden rules of penny stocks. Okay? Who knows it? Who's going to say it? Who's going to say it when it comes to OBLN? I'll wait. You got like 10 seconds. Out of time. Never go long in obesity play. Never, ever, 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 ever go wrong, long in obesity play. Especially a balloon that you swallow. Okay? Um, Golden rule of penny stocks. Never go long in obesity play. They never work. Um, FSR. Oh, this is Fisker. Yeah, okay. So, EVs. Ah! Um, I say no. Uh, you know, as much as I love Fisker... I just don't like these dead cat bounces, especially in EVs right now. So, so my opinion is EVs will be back. EVs will be back, but I don't think they're ready yet. You know, there's just, it's just, we need something. And, and I've said this a lot, Elon, Elon, bring us something cool, okay? It won't take much. You know, I've joked about the fact that Elon... You know, going back a year ago, Elon has never missed a pre-market prep. He, he comes on every one. Um, him and I talk several times a day. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, Elon, bring us something. We need something to relight the EV sector. Dead cat bounce and EVs still sideways and boring. Elon's been too, Elon's been too busy with Doge. So quit posting Doge memes, Elon, and like bring us some cool new technology. Uh, B-A-O-S. What is that? I'm a, I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. Blah! Carlos, I don't see nothing here. So, Oh, XXII. Yes. So XXII... Um, I would say 9.45 break of four, 9.45 or later break of four. Um, interesting news on this. If you saw the news yesterday, a lot of talk about lowering um, news broke yesterday, which get breaking news, okay? News broke yesterday. Uh, looks like a push to lower nicotine. Get breaking news. It is stupid cheap. Watch yesterday's YouTube video. So again, I did a YouTube video yesterday on how amazing breaking news is. And listen, I know you're not here for a sales pitch, okay? You're not here for sales pitches. I try and avoid that stuff. I try and just talk stocks. But I'm telling you, breaking news is stupid cheap for what you get. That being said, XXII, that's what they do. Low nicotine cigarettes. So we'll look for 9.45 or later. Uh, breaks of four, which is whole dollar, half dollar. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Sundial, Tim, please. I want to be rich. Well, Mangalo, you're, if you want to be rich on a weed penny stock, Man, Mad Mangalo, if you're looking to get rich on a weed penny stock, um, I'm going to stay positive. It ain't, it ain't happening. Okay. Now, can you make some money on SNDL? Yes. But if you think you're going to get rich on a piece of crap penny stock, weed stock, disconnect. Disconnect, please. I don't need that up in here, as they say. Um, now, you can make good money on it, but 
CLOV squeeze. Yes. Vaughn. Um, I'm going to finish on this. Vaughn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of CLOV. So this is the recipe. Um, so we've got, you know, we've got an interesting intersection here. So we've got WSB pumping this, pumping this as a high short interest squeeze idea. And then, then the, be the best part is, okay, the best part about CLOV is you have all of the Twitter mom's basement living short sellers talking about how, oh, WSB's too stupid and they and they have the short interest wrong, wrong okay? So mom, mom's basement, Twitter geniuses. Calling WSB stupid. This is a recipe for an epic short squeeze, my friends. So now what I love, Vaughn McLaughlin. Yes, I love your level. Okay, so when I say I love this as a squeeze, I don't say you dip by it. I don't say you VWAP hold it. I don't say you dip and rip it. You wait for 1050, which is the panic point in my opinion. And Vaughn McLaughlin, well done, my friend. Um, and let's just, I mean, here we go. Just keep hoping the mom's basement dwellers keep making fun of Wall Street bets. And let's smoke these fools. So my mains, YVR. I do like SNDL, especially if it can kind of grind sideways and spike in the afternoon. Um, da, 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 da. XXII is nice. And then CLOV over 1050. What was the, uh, what did I delete my, I deleted my notes on accident. On the Vancouver. What was the Vancouver one? YVR, right? Anyway. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Again, I will be back for Market 411. If you're kind of curious about that stuff I've been doing for my sleep, etc., I'll be talking about it on there. Instagram, at T Bowen. Have a great day. Enjoy. Enjoy. Happy Doge Day. Happy 420. Um, all right. See you guys next time.